Today we're going to learn about something called logical operators inside JavaScript. And logical operators very much go hand in hand with the previous episode we did where we talked about something called comparison operators. So as you guys can see inside my document here, I have a very basic HTML5 setup. I have a paragraph that has an ID as test. And inside my script tags, I have a variable called x, which is equal to 10. And then inside my if statement down here, I'm basically checking if x is equal to 10. So what we can use logical operators for is we can go ahead and include another condition. So right now I'm just checking x is equal to 10, but I can also go ahead and check if another condition is true as well. So just to show you guys, if I were to go inside the browser right now, x is equal to 10, as we can see up here, meaning that right now inside the browser, we should be getting it works. If I go ahead and go inside my browser, as you guys can see, we get it works. So if I want to check for a second condition, I can go ahead and go after the first condition here and say ampersand ampersand, which is, you know, the and symbol we have inside most languages. And I can go ahead and include my second condition. So if we were to say, if X is also equal to five, which right now we know it's not, I can go ahead, refresh the browser. And as you guys can see, we now get nothing. So right now inside the if statement, what we're actually doing here is we're checking if both of these are actually true, if x is equal to 10 and x is equal to five. Now what we can actually do here is instead of saying and, is we can actually go ahead and say or to check if just one of them has to be true. So if I were to change the ampersands to what we call a pipe or a vertical line inside you know, the keyboard language, which look like this, we can actually go ahead and check if one of them are true. So if I go ahead and save this, go inside my browser, X is in fact equal to 10. So one of them are true, X is not equal to five, but we should still get whatever's in here because just one of them has to be true. So inside the browser, as you guys can see, we get it works. So these are what we call logical operators. And these are quite useful when you want to set multiple conditions inside a statement. Now what we can actually do here is we can actually go ahead and insert more logical operators inside one if statement by adding another variable up here where we can say, well, we have X, we should also have a Y, which is equal to five. And then what I can do is I can actually go inside the if statement and say, well, if Y is equal to five and X is equal to 10 or equal to five. So right now, Y has to be equal to five because we have an ampersand symbol down here, but X can either be 10 or it can be five. So and always goes first. And then afterwards, we go in and check if one of these are equal to, you know, whatever's up here. If I go ahead and save this, go inside my browser, as you guys can see, we now get it works because, you know, it is in fact true because Y is equal to five and one of these are equal to 10. Now, the last logical operator we're gonna talk about is something called a not operator. And basically what this one does is that it checks if a certain statement or condition is false. So as you guys can see, I did actually change some of my code. Right now we have X is equal to 10, Y is equal to five. And what I'm doing here is I'm gonna go ahead and check if X is not equal to Y. Now, the way we do that is by putting X is equal to Y inside another set of parentheses like so. And then at the beginning of the inner parentheses we have inside of here where we have X is equal to Y, we're gonna go ahead and set an exclamation mark. So right now, whatever's inside these parentheses here, it's gonna go ahead and check if it's false or if it's true. If it's false, it's gonna go ahead and write whatever's down here. If it's true, it's not gonna write whatever's inside the curly brackets. So if I go ahead and save this, go inside my browser, as you guys can see, it now says it works. If I were to actually go ahead and change Y, so it is in fact equal to 10, it means that this operator here is not going to be equal to false, meaning that right now it should not spit anything inside the browser. If we go ahead and refresh, you guys can see we get nothing. So this is the basic idea behind logical operators. There's three of them. We have the AND, OR, and then we have the NOT operator. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.